thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a get ready with me using a full face of affordable products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So during this video, I'm gonna use all affordable products. Some are newer than others. And on the thumbnail, I have the newer products that I'm using. And then of course, in the description box, you can see all of the other products that I'm using. But I think the newest out of everything is probably this foundation by Profusion. And there's also this eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. I thought it was pretty when I saw it in the store. And also this Physician's Formula highlighter. And I talked about this particular highlighter in another video. But everything else, while it is not new, it is still affordable. So this is the look that I created using all of my affordable products. So with that being said, I hope you all are still interested. Let's get into the video. So anyway, I'm gonna use this e.l.f brow pencil Let's see can you see it i hope you can see it and i like these i think that they are good you know i think that they do a really good job of getting your brows on so let me just show you all how they work for me as you can see you don't have to tug really hard i think this is the darkest shade if it isn't i'll put it up on the screen So I add a little bit more pressure on the tail end of the brow so it can be darker. And then on the front part of the brow, I'm just going to lightly fill that in. And then to carve those out, I'm gonna use this Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. Comes in a little packaging like this. And what I like to do is just put a little on the back of my hand and kind of use the back of my hand as a palette. All right, and then after I have that all filled in, I like to go in with this little e.l.f. brow kit. Forgive me, mine is like really busted up and filthy. And I like to just kind of draw in some little fake brow hairs and just really lightly, just a few right there at the beginning of the brow. All right, so now that I have all that done, let's, okay, I think I'm gonna start off with Spiced and that would be this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease. And I didn't set the concealer, so it is wet. I'm just gonna add this right there. And I actually thought this would be a little bit darker than this. Why, I don't know, but I did. All right, and now I wanna go in with Royal. Now I want to go in with Royal, which is the blue shade. And I'm going to use a different brush for that one. And I'm going to put that right here, deeper in the crease. As you can see, I'm just placing the colors. I'm going to blend them out in just a second after I have them all placed. All right, so now that I have all of that placed, I'm going to go in with a clean brush with a little bit more of Spiced and just kind of blend the blue out a little bit and see what happens. Okay, it's looking kind of patchy, but we're going to keep going. I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue. All right, so now that I have that blue applied, I'm gonna clean this up right now. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the crease with this ice blue right here. I'm 
going to use this shade next. I feel like I'm skirting into the land of a Halloween look. <laughs> With this. Alright, and on top of the shade that I just applied, I'm going to put Paradio. I'm going to put this shade on top of what I just applied, but I'm going to apply it with my fingers because I'm thinking it probably could be used as a topper shade. The shade a little bit more glittery. You really, I don't know if you can tell on camera how it has changed the, the shadow, but it has. And then for the outer V, like right here, I'm gonna add this shade right here, and that is black. So let's just add that right here. All right, so I'm going to add some liner, mascara, and lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the eyelashes on some big eyelashes you all already know how i get down all right so next we're going to go in with the foundation and this is the pro v the profusion feel good skin long wear skin perfector and this has hyaluronic acid in it and this is it right here just a little squeezy tube and there's the squeezy tube okay and i'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and it's not watery at all so it's kind of on the thick side yeah this is on the thicker side so let's go ahead and apply this and this is in shade deep one i think that's what it says if i'm wrong i'll put it on the screen but i'm thinking that says deep one so i'm going to apply this and it smells like perfume is in it i'm thinking that's what i smell so anyway let's go ahead and apply this and see what it's talking about Okay, I definitely don't want to do this, but I'm going to add in another layer just to see if it's buildable. And I have an acne scar right here and I want to see if it can cover up that. So it didn't cover it up entirely, but you can still kind of see it. But that's a pretty dark scar on my face, so. Um, it'll take a lot to cover that up. So I'm liking the way that it's looking. I don't necessarily know if I'm liking how it's feeling. Because I think that it's kind of looking a little bit red. Okay. Alright, so I got that applied. Now let's go in with the concealer. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I'm just using it for highlighting purposes. All 
All right, so I got that applied and I'm going to use this e.l.f. cream contour palette. It looks like this and here are the shades. Okay, got that applied. I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of blend that in a little bit. All right, and to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Concealer Contour Palette. It looks like this. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this lightest shade right here. And then to set my entire face, I'm going to use this Morphe uh, foundation powder. Here's the packaging, and this is the shade. This is in shade 10. Alright, and now that I've applied that, I'm going to use this LA Colors Makeup Contour Palette. This is uh, an older palette. I'm not even sure if they, I think they still sell this. But anyway, I'm going to use this darker shade. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with the palette and do my lower lash line. And I think I'm going to just add blue. This, this blue shade right up under, uh, right up against the lower lash line and right up under it, I'm gonna use the orange shade. Well, not the orange shade, but there's a red shade. All right, and now I'm gonna use the spiced, the spiced shade that I started off with. I'm gonna put that right below the, the red that I just applied. I mean the blue. I'm gonna put that right below the blue. All right, and now I'm just going to add some mascara. And this is a Wet n Wild mascara. All right, and then for blush, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Sahara and Blush One palette. No, you all know this. And I think I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's gonna be bold and adventurous. This is a lot. So I'm gonna get my foundation brush and kind of blend this out a little bit. And then I'm going for blush, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Glow um, Highlighter. I recently used this one in another video and I really like it. So I'm going to use it again. So as you can see, that could pretty much be used as a blush as well, but we're gonna use it as a highlight. And then for my lips, I'm gonna use this NYX Lingerie Push-Up. 
pencil. And then I'm gonna go over it with the with the Metalicious lacquers, the new ones by Black Radiance. And then the last step is a setting spray. And I'm gonna use this LA Colors Shimmer Spray. This is it right here. So this is it, this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products, if you plan on trying them. Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.